Okay, so how do you want to do this? He's a bard, all right. I'm not gonna let you. I would give 100 gold pieces to a party. <laughs> what the floor, little one? Welcome back to Roll with Advantage. Let's see what our heroes have in store for us today. Next thing on the list. What do you guys want to do? Wyvern Tour? I piped in about finding the guy who might be being tortured right now. <laughs> yep. I investigate so you say it goes to saves too? What's that? Yeah. Is it to saves yeah, too? plus one to save and to uh, AC. Ooh, my strength saving throws a negative one now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, yeah, if we so come, we get run into strong. any no. sort of goblins. I'm just gonna say this now. No, if we ever come across like a belt of giant strength, or gauntlets of ogre power, dibs. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever find a tome of knowledge and leadership, dibs. I can make those for you for 500 gold and 20 days. <laughs> I, know how to, I know how to make those. Minette's palms start to moisten, and, and he starts to get excited on the on the opportunities but, at hand. Can you write me a tome of leadership Does, and knowledge? No, that would take a very long. It's a legendary. Time. It's not item. like I'm really hankering to have a 19 strength. That's just going from a six to a 19 would be pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what well, you can save up for? So, mm-hmm. Sorry. Okay. Wyvern, Wyvern tour is uh, nearby, um, just south of the old Owl. Right. Uh, that was the <laughs> third thing that we came this direction to go do. Yep. Do you guys want to do that real quick, or do you want to go and look for Gundren? It's probably going to be another day travel. We have no... no it's the end of the day. Yeah. So we, we have go. no idea where Gundren might be. Right. Yeah, absolutely not. What about the... Um, We've been looking for, for goblins, goblins and stuff like that. to attack us. And goblins and orcs and whatnot. What about that base that we saw that, like, when we were with the cart yep. and the horses, and then we decided to Helms not... Hold. Helms Deep. Helms Hold. Yes. Helms Hold. <laughs> that is a long way. That oh, that's a long way. way. Okay. Do, if we do that, we should head towards Thunder Tree, but what do we, we should probably take care of Winter Woods. Is it like a, a dangerous yeah. wood? Okay. So yeah, it's not something we want to traverse through. Yeah. No, not at all. Is there okay. anything in the well and or tower? Uh, I investigate both of those things. Sure. There's fresh water in the well. There's fresh There's water and lots of zombie corpses in the tower. Hmm. That we we that. should add a corpse to the corpse pile. We yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't really it. check out the, the Tower of Rubble for anything. It had zombies. Yeah, in it. yeah. There's nothing in there. This is a zombie holding pen. <laughs> yep. Ooh, can I stay in the tent tonight? <laughs> this is like high, high living. It's big enough for all of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got vaulted ceilings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's got a, a loft. It's a, yeah. <laughs> it's a mansion. Yeah. Mansion. Yeah. You yep. don't remember seeing a tent this big yep. as a. In fact, this tent, even inside the tent, there's this little little like hut that's built in it <laughs> that um, has a chair next to it. <laughs> Is that how you view the yeah. writing table? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay in the house in the house. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna yo dog this. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Out of uh, curiosity, I yeah. walk up to Keo and say, "Hey, Keo." I see you like the enlarge spell a lot. Have you ever cast enlarge on yourself? Uh, maybe, maybe you'd turn into a dragon. Maybe. Probably I'd turn into a dragonborn, though. <laughs> Those guys are kind of full of themselves. So, uh, All right. They think they're better than us, even though we're born from dragons, too. I mean, what's with that? So... Uh, you guys rest for the night. Um, Don't is there anything people want to do before sleeping? I attempt and... to make friends with the cat. Yeah. Um. Same progress as yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he. It seems like he's he's pretty nice in the morning so far, but at night he's he's kind of a grumpy cat. 
Lots of walking makes for a grumpy cat. Lots of walking makes for a grumpy cat. Why is he following us? (laughs) Yeah, right? Right? (laughs) You keep feeding him. Okay. And I I think somebody picks him up for the most part. Yeah, how do you... How do you guys get this cat to follow you guys? <laughs> we don't know. Cats don't. Like, um, they choose to follow us. It's not that we make cats yeah. follow us. Uh, a piece of salted fish falls out of my pack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> the cat like the cat like nuzzles and purrs against your pack and it's like just rubbing against it. Isn't it knows where like, its food comes from. Wouldn't the cat be like half your size almost? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a riding cat for, for Keo. Not quite. Yeah. Not quite, but I'm, it, I'm like twenty five pounds. So. Oh god, yeah, you break that cat's twenty twenty four pounds, I mean. Anyways, I eat an actual ration for dinner today. Yeah. Uh okay, so uh the night is again not very eventful. Um, well, yeah. I yeah. Two houses. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, the morning comes to you. You guys have breakfast and uh, mm-hmm. set out south uh, towards where you think uh, Wyvern Tor would be. Um, mm-hmm. Who's got survival? Does anybody have survival? By the way, who, who's taking the potion? Oh, yeah. The... She's going to carry that. And who's taking the darkness... Are you taking? I'm gonna. I'll take the scroll. The okay. Yeah, that's very much in my character. I wants to own all the. Okay. All the scrolls yeah. and stuff. Okay. Because um, I'm looking to try and translate this book. Well, I know Ifer and Manet already have potion of healing. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, You'll I'm, take I'm it. Okay. I can cast cure wounds now. Bond has a, this, this a healing level, too. So. Oh, nice. Okay. Healing is. Uh, Healing in the party has increased. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Although, if anybody wanted to... <laughs> if only we had a cleric. Yeah, two, in fact. <laughs> that just means that we don't have that's, to spend our fine. time healing. That's fine. Just in case they oh, go down. Oh, hey, that's cool. All right. I'm so. working on a trick where I'll be able to infuse an object with that item. Hey, Ooh. these still, scrolls... Still a work in progress. Are the scrolls paper or are they parchment? Parchment. Okay. That's still cool. I fit all the scrolls in the bonus scroll case that I have. Oh, cool. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, so you guys make your way south. Anybody have uh, survival? Actually, I think like, I do. Jack of all yes. trades, but that's not really proficient. I, I, I mean, I you got a, it. a dot next to it. Yeah, I train survival. Okay. Because I was, my backstory. Yep, yep. I figured if I was going to be... Survive. Yeah. 11. 11. Okay, you guys... I'm not very good at it. Nope. Training. Good enough, though. Yeah, you guys don't get too good. lost. Um, you don't come come out directly in front of uh, Wyvern Tor, but you do uh, you do find it um, after some, some soul-searching in the desert. Like, what time of day is it? It is midday. Is it sunny? Uh, it is overcast, and it looks like it's threatening rain. So wait, if we... Too bad we're not level 5. We slept <laughs> last night? Mm-hmm. Yes. Would that be considered a long rest? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And have we eaten yet today? Was anybody... Yeah, there? there was breakfast. No lunch yet, though. And, yeah, but we didn't... Did we, like, find some breakfast in his tent stuff, then? Uh, yeah, yeah, you would have found rations. Uh, I'd say, I'm going to say you guys found uh, probably four days worth of rations. Oh, four days Total for Total or for person, everyone? But... For one person. Yeah. yeah, so that would have fed us breakfast this morning. <clears throat> Basically, minus two rations. I'll go ahead and cut one more out of mine. How many days have we been out? <laughs> out and about? So yeah. like uh, it was four, five. three... Plus two and then a half. Yeah. We were doing some foraging though. Yep. Most of the early days. Yeah. And then another one <laughs> and then another half. So almost eight days? Yeah. Yeah, almost a ten day. And we foraged once yeah. for a squirrel in poison berries. Yep. Mm-hmm. Would you, you kind of do a squirrel like a half ration or something? Uh, it'd be one person's meal, probably. Like, us. Yeah. Why do you guys not have rations? 
Running a little low. I have yeah. plenty. I still have eight. I'm going to go with I have three. <laughs> I got two days left. Yeah. Same about. I've got about forage. 13 or 14. I have to actually do the math, but. Not used to being outside of civilization. Was <laughs> there like a camp we can raid? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there was one. But it only had four rations, and we ate those for breakfast. Well, We're good for today, though. Well, I have more rations. I, but I probably ate some of Yeah, the rations way. are a full day's worth of yeah. meals, right? Okay. Yeah, that's why I was saying the four this morning fed most of our party for the day. All right. Are you if ready? If you guys run out, I can share my rations. It's not the end four. of the world. That seems rational. God but damn it. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, Keo does his... Uh, survival mm-hmm. tracking to. I'm walking like I'm a velociraptor or something. Yeah, right now. <laughs> well, <I'm not> looking. <laughs> he, he's got a. He's got the smell in his nose. Uh, he smells a faint smell of smoke hanging in the air. Uh, just as you're ascending one of the crag hills, and um, on a low slope of one of these hills, about fifty yards away. Uh, there's a, a cave mouth at the bottom of this ravine. Uh, hunkered down by a boulder near this cave is a uh, single orc. Uh, how far is he? He looks like he's keeping watch. About 50 yards away. 50 yards? Yeah. All right, so that's 150 feet. I'm going to try and move up 30 feet quietly. Yep. Well, and I'm like, I make a sign for everybody to stop. Yep. Does he notice me at a 15 stealth? No. No? Mm-mm. I'm going to try a trick that worked really well last time. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. Nice. I just need to be within range. Although, I wonder if that's 120 or is that 150. I might not need it to sneak. Mm-hmm. No, it was 120. It's good so. flavor. So, I snuck up just close enough. And, okay. um... Although, I do have a question to make sure that this is okay to do. Because okay. I'm in Twin Spell, under the Sorcerer 1, it says that has a spell that targets a sing- that has a single target mm-hmm. can be twinned. And this can be either single target or several. But I'm mm. using but it as a target. Single- yeah. yeah, I'm going to okay. say as long as you're targeting a single target. Okay. So you can use it. I like the way you use it, so... Okay. <laughs> you know. It's just, it makes it pretty powerful for yeah. first level, but yeah. then again, I'm also using up sorcery points to do it, so. Use enough points. It's, it's so you don't twin fireballs, really, yeah. is why they have to yep. written that way. Because your area of effects could get really nasty. If What'd you, you get? Drop doubles. So, so two, eight on the first one. And and eleven on the second. So eight on the first one. So eleven 19, on the second. Yeah, nineteen, 19 total all? force damage between six shots. This uh, the six shots come in. <laughs> they all hit at the same time. <laughs> yep. And uh, just <laughs> and and it's silent. It is it's dead silent. And the orc slumps because uh, he's already crouched. He gets hit and pushed back just a little bit and slumps and uh, uh, kind of leans over. Uh, looks almost like he's sleeping. Uh, you think he's probably dead, uh, Keo. Well, I guess it says, it says targets only one creature, so yeah. yeah. So it would be yep. like, uh, as written. Sorry, same team here, yeah. but um, you can spend points equal to the spell's level to target a second creature in range. With the same spell. Oh, oh, yeah, different, you're right. a different character. Okay, so, so that um, would be like twinning, like that's what sure. haste or something like that. Yeah, that's how like, I was using sure. it for the most part. I took so, it, so moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. That's how it works. But that was crossed, fucking dope. I crossed so. my eyes. I saw two of them. <laughs> <laughs> and magic missile always hit. I thought I was applying it wrong. <laughs> It's gold. All right. So, so you see, you, those who those who uh, 
Uh, well, you guys don't really perceive that, but yeah, yeah, you... <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah. The orc is, uh, presumed dead. Both Kyo. And you both feel... You feel very... Yeah, both of them. You, you feel, uh... You feel very, very cool right now. Yeah. So, uh, not knowing how a magic missile works... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I turn to Manat and I'm like, Dude, you gotta take pointers. He, he doesn't miss... I haven't seen him miss in the last 18 shots. (laughs) I just kind of look at Vaughn. It's not worth explaining to you. Well, you haven't seen him miss because you haven't seen him hit. (laughs) Well, then, rules as written, I could use it on magic missile, but I have to be targeting two people. Yeah. Yeah, because one's yeah. targeting one be, creature. Yes. Be, because Alan's allowing that's you splitting to, hairs. Yeah, yeah. That is splitting hairs. I just won't use it on magic missile yeah, anymore. The yeah. Yeah. Rules is written. It, it wouldn't allow it. Well, there's a lot of ways to. Yeah. yeah. It should be a so. Specifically there is a cave mouth um, with a slumped orc in front of it, <laughs> and a uh, and a cobalt with uh, smoking finger guns, and he just kind of kind of spins them and. Puts them away. Uh, you guys are f- further back because um, uh, he snuck up to do this. Um, what would you like to do? I'd like to stealth up to the cave mouth okay. and see what I perceive. Let's Note see. how I stealth, what do you perceive? stealth check. Note Please. how I uh, worded that. See what I perceive. Nice. <laughs> perceive, yeah. Okay, uh, that's a five stealth. Oh god! It was on twenty. You you uh you stumble on <laughs> some of the stones as you get up to Keo, and uh, uh you. What's your perception? Roll or just yeah, roll twenty. Twenty. Uh, you can hear a fair bit of ruckus inside. Uh, you can pick out s- about six or seven orcs. Um, is what you can pick out, um, and that's about it. I I turn around to to the rest of the party and I go, "There's like six or seven of them." <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> what do you guys do? <laughs> Into the cave. Yeah. Yep. Alrighty. So, I'm, what's I'm, it? I'm gonna stay back from the mouth of the cave. Okay. Um, hoping that I can kind of see in and. Be able to shoot. So I'd be near the mouth. What's that? I would be near the mouth. Yeah. Is anybody following? Turned around because I turn around and yell at you guys. Yeah. Six. Well, were you that close when you yelled? There's the name of the guy we're trying to find. The Gundren. Gundren. Yeah. You uh, you approach the cave. And, uh, you want to attempt doing it stealthily? Sure. I've, I've already stealthily done, so... I'll <laughs> okay. It up. Ooh, I'm stealthy. 23. I'm going to take point. Well, let's 24. see what I have with disadvantage. Nine. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. We're hunting orcs. <laughs> orcs don't appreciate stealth. Three. Three. Oh my god. Clang, 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 clang. Uh, yeah, I purposefully go last because I know I'm stealth's not my. I need chip. Oh, I got chip. Uh, Fuck you, chip. Strong point. <laughs> Alright. Specifically, chip. <laughs> uh, yeah, for the listeners, chip is a mini. And uh, that must he gets, die. Yeah, he gets hated on pretty hardcore. The name has nothing to do with what the mini is either. No. It's just an arbitrary name we gave him. Yep. Looks like a chip. Smells like a chip. Dies like a chip. He's probably got a chip on his shoulder about all the hatred. We him. certainly do. Mm-hmm. He had a shtees. Cha 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 chip. I have a very good thing I could do, but it might use up. A, it would use up a scroll. 
Fireball. Do it. Would it be cool? There we go. That's a fire. If I roll, <laughs> fire diet. um, if I were to roll, I think it's um. <clears throat> A twelve or sorry, an eleven or better, it would be cool. Mm. Okay. What uh what is the importance of us finding these orcs? Just they're a hazard to society and we need to... Oh well that's true too. We shouldn't yeah. just we shouldn't just wantonly kill these orcs. I uh we should kill some of them and keep some alive to question. Mm-hmm. So this is this is strictly meta talk because I can't for the life of me remember the orc quest. Um, oh, it was the the town master had a thing. So in the town hall there was a post-it up, you know, saying heroes wanted, you know, fire within. I tore off all the tabs and put all but one <laughs> on the counter. And acquired within. And I inquired, and I told them that I'd save the town. So. Okay. You took all the towns. And so we're here to prevent these these orcs have been harassing and attacking the town, and we're here to protect the town. And as a bonus, they might be able to tell us info about gun. Maybe. We'll see. Well, Something I might. Would, uh, might. When you guys get up to me, I would turn to you and I'm like, I got a plan to pump these guys for info. A little risky. I need you guys to have my back. I'm in. <laughs> do it. But uh, I think a good way is I'll just pretend to be a old blind guy <laughs> trying to find his way in the world, and pretend. I'll just walk in and be all like, "Excuse me, I've I've lost my way. I was uh I was supposed to meet up with my my good pal Gundren at uh at Cragmaw. Do you?" Am I in the right area? Is that what you do? It's, uh, I'm, t- I'm filling them in on my plan. Okay. That's not the worst plan I've ever heard. It's so. not the worst, don't, yeah. Don't um, orcs eat blind people? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Do orcs eat blind people, orc? <laughs> I mean, I'm half orc, A. But when do you I'm feel he's, half, he's like half, blind, half hungry? He's half hungry? Um, yeah. <laughs> Back when I was raiding with full orcs, like that, that is a thing they would do. Mm. Okay. Well, Bond can defend himself until the rest of us can come in to help him. True. That's true. I'll hide right here. I'm gonna yeah. like climb on Bond's back, acting like a backpack. Oh, Yoda! It. Oh my. <laughs> you know you've got inspiration. I can't give it to you yet. Um. Damn it. I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith on you before you go in. Okay. When you come on my back, I say, wait, wait, wait. I'm taking my cloak off, get like under the cloak, and you can like pop down. Be, be a hunch. ah. You're a hunchback. Okay. Ooh. Hunchback blind guy. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, son. <laughs> All right. This one's dope. I'll you have cast, plus two AC. Well, and plus I'll cast two. guidance on you. Um, so if you have to do an ability check for some reason. No, I can twin fire. You can add a d4 to whatever ability check yes. you would need to do. Okay. Can and you, can if you he's next again, to them, I have advantage. Yeah. Um, I'm casting guidance on you, so if you need tactics. to do an ability check for whatever reason, you can add a d4 to your ability check. Okay. But I don't think you'll need it. All right. Orcs wonder why there's a bunch of whispering outside the cave mouth. <laughs> okay. I'm going to walk in. With Eifer on my back. Okay. Where is? Yep. And I'm like, like walking around, like holding my quarterstaff on one end and yeah, banging it around on things and okay. doing the whole the whole blind guy thing. Okay. So I get to yep. about probably here and I start saying, "Excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm I'm terribly lost. See, I'm oh, oh, hold hold there." Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm just a, an old blind man. I, and I have my hood up, too, so like you can't see my face really or anything. I'm like, <laughs> just, uh, just trying to find my friend. What happened to Go? Go what, what? Go! Go! Why? Why are these fools in here? Go, oh. I, saw, I saw no Go. Who's Go? I'm just trying to... <laughs> Oh. 
meant no harm. <laughs> <laughs> Keo rolls a natural 20 on deception. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 22. He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> The, the Gave question, me a gold piece. <laughs> <laughs> the questioning orc says, oh, You gave Gala orc a gold piece. Mm. You gave Krell a gold piece. I, I could give you a, a gold piece mm. if, you, if you help me find my friend. <laughs> and uh, the there's a, the hulking structure in the back. Uh, who who was sleeping at the time uh, kind of awakens and it's a, another uh, ogre. Um, and uh, and the orc says, "Come come here and give Krell gold piece." I uh, hesitate for a second and then walk up to about here. Okay. Pocket. Ding. Can you make sure what, to, what do you do? to like throw it in a way that... Oh, so I you attack? Throw, so you I, move and attack? I throw the gold piece at him. Oh, But okay. you throw it where you know he's not so that he'll think you're blind. <laughs> I, throw it, I throw it immediately to his left. Okay, okay. And, uh, and the two that it falls between, they both jump on it. Like and they start fighting. That's my gold piece. That's mine. And they're just they're you know tussling on the ground. Um, During this commotion, I'm still with those guys. Okay, uh, from above to the left of you, uh, up on uh, just following up some rough cut stairs uh, onto a plateau. Uh, uh, you hear? <laughs> Wait. Mm. Who's there? It's just just me, old old Mr. Bad. I'm just looking for my friend. Walter does not believe that. Who else is with you? As he says it, can I like notice that this guy is like kind of in charge? Does he look better than everybody else that I'm like? You can't not see at? him. <laughs> you can hear him. Hear you are course. fully under his cloak. He's talked about putting his hood up and everything. You can't see him. I can't see anybody? No. But okay. you can hear the authority. In yeah, you voice. can hear the authority. Okay. I'm going to cast Suggestion. Okay. And suggest to him that we are friends. Okay. We cause or we, we bring no harm. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to suggest <laughs> that I am a friend and I bring no course, harm. You suggest yeah. a course of action. Yeah. You can't suggest an idea like that. Yeah. Can I suggest for him to tell everybody not to hurt me, as in me or one person? Mm. It's, yes, it's you can of... try. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to try to make him suggest not to hurt us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, now, let's see, that's going to be a wisdom saving throw on his part. Okay. Shit. Funnier things. <clears throat> Seven. That he he needed to make a twelve or higher. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So he doesn't make it. So then he would tell everybody oh, in the room. Okay. Yeah. Not probably. Yeah. <clears throat> don't don't worry about it. Never mind. I I mm. we won't hurt you. Come on. Please. Please, can you tell me where where's my friend Gundren, or, or maybe Cragmaw? He was going to Cragmaw. Mm, I I haven't heard of a Cragmaw. Where's your friends, though? Fr- friends. Yes, I hear them. I hear them. Go. <clears throat> oh. Who else did you let in here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> For twenty. <laughs> he believes it. He's like, oh, oh unless we mistaken. Mm. Perhaps you've heard of Gundren. Nope. No. 
<laughs> no gun dream. Black spider. Maybe, maybe a black spider? There are, there's many spiders out here in the wild. <laughs> Not how you thought this would go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you doing? I wanted to decide if I would lose my temper and totally oh. break character. Okay. But I don't. I rolled a 20, so okay. I'm going to keep nice. character. Very cool headed <laughs> monk. Okay. Um, the the two on the ground are still, like, <laughs> wrestling. And the one guy, like, he, he gets one in the, the, the one in the headlock, and, and he pulls out the... Uh, he pulls out the coin and he shoves it like in his leather pouch and he shoves his thumb in the other guy's eye and he spits on him. <laughs> <laughs> we could. Um, I, I then ask, well, maybe, maybe you've seen some goblins about? <clears throat> no, no goblins here. This is the many arrow tribes area. No, no, Spider. Got any other ideas? <laughs> Ask them what they're doing here. Well, who was that? Who you talk to? Oh, I'm just old and senile, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Roll your deception. Man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. With the uh, D4 as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unless I can do a persuasion. Deception. No, you're lying. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll the one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. You, you no talk to self no more. All right, all right, I'm sorry, but what are you guys doing here? <laughs> this all I'm human. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> God. Uh, All right. Well, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll leave now. <laughs> Let's start backing out. The uh, the ogre, the ogre like pounds his club on the ground, and the ogre uh, says, oh, "More gold for safety." <laughs> I mean, you can get it back. Uh, yeah, I'll take another gold piece out and chuck it at him. This time I want to hit the wall okay. next to him. Okay. And I'll throw it with uh, a lot of force okay. so that it should ricochet pretty good. Okay. Yep. It... Ting, ting, ting. All right. They they all, like, they look towards it, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Okay. Uh, I continue backing out. Yep, it's very tense in in this room right now. Um, mm-hmm. You you basically disturbed their time, and uh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And this this is a very unnatural thing that just happened. <laughs> so so <clears throat> tension is very strong. I'm I'm gonna as we're backing out. I'm yeah. gonna cast minor illusion and rate like where the fire is. Okay. I'm going to uh, try to create what looks like gold just falling into the fire. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. They would have to succeed a. Uh, God damn. I think. <laughs> it's, a, I think it's only if they examine the illusion. The, do they have to examine it to? I mean, if they're like. Depending on how they would react to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They're not, like examining they just it. see it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're they're they not, can, like, trying to not see it. Right. They can choose to try and look through it. Yeah, but the, for what you're attempting, okay. they're not going to. So. Okay, if they were to, yeah, yeah. look into it. Okay. <laughs> how do they react to gold this. pieces falling into the fire? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so what happens is, is, um, so... Most of them are either looking at the coin that that was uh, that bounced off, or are looking at uh, Bond. Um, one notices though that there are coins just above the flame, like just dropping into the fire, like coming out of nowhere. 
and uh, and it's the one that's on the ground who just had his eye poked, and uh, and he spit on. He, he thinks he's got one up on everybody else. He dives into the fire. <laughs> Enjoy that. <laughs> uh, he takes a d6 of fire damage. Did he put the fire out? Uh, yeah, he he lands on top of it. Uh, and the fire is is it's underneath him. It's it's still pretty hot, but the flames are no more. It smells nice. Yeah. <laughs> um. And yeah, he he breaks through like the spit that's. That's hanging over, and it was cooking meat and stuff like that. So, so yep. that probably distracts them from. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They all look back, at... <laughs> and uh, that is that is what happens. What do you guys want to do? I I continue back to the group. Okay, I'm gonna relay. All right, there's seven orcs in an ogre. Six mm-hmm. of them are around the fire. One's quite literally in the fire. <laughs> I think we can take them. We tried to get I mean, information. We need to. We need to. Kill them to mm-hmm. stop them from attacking Vandalin. So I'd say we should keep one alive just to make sure, you know, because they might have been mm-hmm. lying about not knowing anything. But we can tickle them until they tell the truth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All, All right. right. You get you get off my back. Yeah. I'm just gonna hang. All right. Out. So you guys are gonna <laughs> attack them. Take your uh, sneak attack round. Everybody roll initiative. Take your sneak attack round. Okay. okay. That was uh. Are you sure. That was a very strange. It landed style. on the table in a successful roll. I got an eighteen. Terrible. Anybody above eighteen? I got nineteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Twelve. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Orcs have a seven. Work for us. Maybe a spell slam, probably. A um, cleric. Orc boss has a 16. Who had 16 or lower? I have 16. You had 16. Okay, roll off. Okay. Eight. Six. Oh. Right? And then Ogre has a. Uh, Ogre has a pretty good score. Um, Ogre has a 17. I had a 17. You had a 17. Roll off. Four. 13. Alrighty. That is how it shakes out. Bon! Is this an actual enemy? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Um, Generic orcs. Just a quick question. I would know fighting tactics a little bit since we all fight together. Who's planning on using weapons? I plan on using weapons. Yeah, that should be a number. <coughs> yeah. So, I'm not. You three. That's what I was thinking. All right. I run to um, there. Okay. okay. And I go... what I need to do. <laughs> so I'm standing up, straight, hoods down. Mm-hmm. Hi, Sash. I'm going, holy cow, did you guys see my granddad? He was just here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the surprise round. <laughs> surprise! All right. They, they, all, uh, they all look back at you. Like, <laughs> no, no. Okay, so it's my turn. One of the rings for yeah. him. Yeah. For whom? For Bon. He's got plus two AC right oh. now from me. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna do a twin enlarge again. With my action. Nice. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>, chanting. <laughs> I'm real or. <laughs> and um, you'll be the other one. Me? Yeah. Yay. Yeah. They have to be within thirty feet. He's not in thirty feet. So. Mm. And then um. So that's two sorcery points. Second level spell slot. And um, first round of that. And then I attempt to lie to them again, saying, "Oh, that guy's cool too," but I don't do the voice this time. And I totally blow it. Yeah. Yeah. They're like. They're like yeah. Right. <laughs> Who's that? Eifer. Um, erg. Erg. Arg. Erg. Eifer. <laughs> okay. Um, I just move up like 15 and then to the right too. Can I see the ogre? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got one. Let's see. Okay. 
And I believe that's 60 feet, because I think 60 was close to where I was. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. No. It's a 6 foot straight shot, so it'd be straight, slightly yeah. farther than 60. Yep. Okay, so then instead of moving directly over to the right, I'm going to move up and over to the right. At, at, a, at a diagonal, if I can, from where I like was. That. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers at a level 2. Uh, and On the ogre? On the ogre. Okay. And in doing so, I'm actually going to play my pan flute in, like, the, like, worst worst way that I could ever sure. imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of like when you're playing at you know the Stonehill Inn. Yeah. yeah. He starts playing a kobold um, traditional tune. <laughs> uh, sixteen. Okay, so he succeeds, but he still takes. Uh, let's see. Third heavy metal. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, seventeen points of damage. Holy shit! Half Halved. Halved. Yeah. So eight. eight. All right. <clears throat> And you grew two. Ogre. <laughs> Surprise round still, right? Oh, that's right. Sorry. Chant. Yeah. Uh, I cast Shield of Faith on myself. I think that's all my action is. Okay. Use the rest for movement. Uh, well, actually, no, I walk up and I use Thaumaturgy. And I make my voice three times loud. Is it? How much louder is my voice now if I'm enlarged? Like my vocal cords are larger. Yeah, yeah, it's it's <laughs> loud. Quite loud. Okay. Yeah. And thaumaturgy use... makes it loud. So yeah, almost as loud as my thunder cannon. Mm. Almost. <laughs> yes. Real close. And I say, any tiny orcs in here should flee. <laughs> okay. Are you trying to? Uh, are you trying? Yeah, intimidate them. Intimidate. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do I have advantage? The answers being... are not in the book. What? Do I have advantage for being the biggest orc? <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. I'll give it to you. This is a clever... Good. That's your moxie. Yeah. <laughs> so with my minus one charisma, uh, with a plus one to intimidate, that makes that a 20. So the, the group around the fire uh, is intimidated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's my goal now. <laughs> All right. Nice. Next, Manette. All right. Five, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And uh, I think I can see the ogre from there. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. Hold on one second. Okay. Go ahead. You shoot the ogre. You should have an advantage. Okay. Surprise round. I yep, so. I think so. Cool. Crit. Oh shit. Oh. Yes. Don't forget to double the d4. And yeah. I get a d4. We're gonna use. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Five eight piercing so far. Uh, four thunder. Five thunder total. 21 piercing. 21. 21 and 5. On whom? On the ogre. On the ogre. 21 and 5, so 26 in all. He looks bloodied. <laughs> Just a giant chunk comes out of his shoulder, his left shoulder. Next is... 10. I don't know if I can really see the ogre or not, so I'll just attack the guys in the middle. I'm going to use Scorching Ray. And so I get three attacks. Crit. I forgot to call out. I was gonna do Snake Eye. Okay. Um, so two d six. So do I double that, right? Because mm-hmm. it's a crit. Yes. Or, yes. Okay. Yep. All dice rolled. Rolled dice. Roll, roll dice. Thirteen damage. Okay. In total. In total. Nice. On the right? first ray. On the first ray. On yes. the first ray. Yeah. yeah. He looks. Uh, he looks very rough. He does not look like he's going to be standing for long. Okay, and then I'm going to attack the <clears throat> guy with the shield there. Okay. Does a 14 hit? Yes. Okay. 14 hits. 
Seven damage. Seven damage. Okay. And then I will do Mr. Guy with the swords here. Okay. Turning my last one. Fifteen. Fifteen hits. Okay. Oh, eight damage. All right. Nice. Nicely done. Uh, next is Bon. Do it to it. Uh, what is this drawn squiggly? That's a column. So I can so there's go two columns. Yep. I <laughs> swing my quarter staff at Snake. Okay. Who's an orc? Who is an orc? The snake figurine pretending to be an orc. The orc I with miss. a snake tattoo. That's okay. <laughs> snake tattoo, I like that. Here's the forehead. Oh my god. Oh. That forehead is not treating you well. Mm-hmm. You so you forehead Whoa. you go huh, forehead and what? Can I give away an inspiration yes. since I never use it because I don't do attack rolls? Yes. <laughs> I give away my inspiration. Alright. So you forehead and double ones. Oh, oh yeah. crit. <laughs> Wow. That's your <laughs> inspiration. Yeah. Don't forget nice. you did that. <laughs> At the, often crit. Crit at the start of that headbutt, it looked awfully like it was going at his knee. But it was a fake. And it was a, yeah, you fainted with the forehead to come back with the forehead. <laughs> at the last second, I hear something to the right, and I twist my head to listen closer and end up in his groin. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Well, you don't need a groin. <laughs> oh, oh, your knees come in. Okay. Oh yeah, sure. That's okay. Uh, that's seven bludgeoning damage total. <laughs> this is the worst head this guy's ever got. <laughs> <laughs> it is the most violent. Should that go in the introduction? <laughs> it's a, it's totally a, out of context. <laughs> it's the most violent. He dies. He dies. He (laughs) he is hitting the pecker so hard with your forehead. (laughs) He dies. It's like a punching bag. Like like a speed bag. (laughs) 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 All right. And it. (laughs) uh, Anything else? I momentarily sense to make sure I don't have a mushroom on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> it is Keo's turn. You do not feel stamped. <laughs> not having seen that, gladly. <laughs> I move 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 25. Do I have some good line of sight between the legs? Yeah. All right. And I, since I have a... Um, ally within <clears throat> five feet of one of the orcs I attack the orc that is within the five feet with a fire bolt and I'm twinning this so I can shoot an, the orc that's in the fire with more fire because <laughs> that seems like a thing to do add insult to injury add injury to injury <laughs> so the first one's the one with advantage the bard is the one that adds insult yeah. to injury True. and <laughs> so, so 17 plus 4 will hit yeah dealing 6 points of flame to the ghoulish one to the burning guy? no, no, no. oh the one next to him and then okay. the burning guy actually I'd be at disadvantage because yep. he's prone but that's okay. Hold on one second. How much was your first damage? Six. Six. Okay. Go ahead. And the other one is at disadvantage because he's prone. This isn't a first level spell. It's a cantrip. And five plus four. Nine head. Nope. Oh, can't he be a zombie? <laughs> <laughs> nope. And my fire just hits the fire. Yeah. The um, <laughs> the uh, the ogre is enraged and it <clears throat> and it uh, runs forward. He's got probably thirty feet speed. One second. He's gonna have to squeeze. Uh, forty him. foot. Forty foot. He's gonna squeeze through here if he wants to yep. try to do that. Yep. He roars loudly in an attempt to frighten uh, Eifer. If, uh, how did he start moving? 
Huh? How did he start moving? Didn't you go? You didn't go. I never went. All right, that's what he's gonna do. He's doing it in parallel. I forgot. Okay, <laughs> you did roll the same initiative, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. Did. Sorry, I forgot. Okay, you, say you forgot. Well, it's, a good, <laughs> it's a good thing I was already planning on attacking him again. Uh, I was gonna do dissonant whispers again. This time only at level one. I was just, you know, yeah, gonna tell him that he might as well jump in the fire because he's that ugly. <laughs> and that is going to be. He fails. Oh, he does. Yes, so, in fact, he doesn't get that far. Oh! Because he's got to run away. Oh, like one more. Does he? Yeah. 15 points of damage. 15 points of damage. Psychic damage, yeah. Okay. He runs into the corner. So he's back where he was. Yeah, he's back where he was. Um, So he doesn't run forward. Yeah, yeah, he goes to he goes to run, and uh, <laughs> instead turns tail and starts getting trying to get as far away as possible. Uh, he is now at the very back of the cave. It is his turn, and he has to uh, continue, or can he make his save? No, he can do whatever he wants on his turn. He just has to use his reaction. Oh, okay, okay. So he like he shakes his head. The whole um, point is you use it on someone close, and then yeah. they have to run away from you, which draws attacks of opportunity. Yep. He he shakes his head. He uh, he runs up and grabs the other orc, that orc right in front of him. Nope, nope. Yep, that guy. Uh, kind of like football carries him and runs forward uh, up to the that part right there, and uh, and he's he uh, keeps. He holds the orc, and he just kind of heaves them at at you guys. So he's gonna throw him. Yeah. <clears throat> and <laughs> orc tossing. Yeah. The orc. The orc lands just short of Eifer. Is yeah. he prone? Yeah, he's prone, and he takes um, he takes a d6 of damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, after he throws it and he sees the orc like skid just short of you, he, the ogre is like, Aah! he's enraged. Uh, go ahead, uh, boss guy. Boss guy, uh, he, he uh, makes his way down the stairs, 5, 10, 15, 20, and he double moves, um, he double moves and gets right up next to Eifer. <laughs> and that is his turn. Next is Chanton. Yeah, that is a bad place for Boss Guy to stand. Uh, I walk up to Boss Guy, and with my still thaumaturgic voice, yep. say, Where's Glassstaff? <laughs> and then I pull out my Glassstaff and I hit him with it. <laughs> <laughs> so like you say that he like turns his head like confused and then you just bash him in the nose with it. Yeah. All right. With what? Uh, I also don't know where glass staff is at. Apparently. <laughs> would you? Would you? What's your attack? Uh, it is eight. Okay. So when he turns his head just slightly, <laughs> your staff goes like right where the where the head was at that point. So mm. you just narrowly miss him. Yeah. Um. It is Manette's turn. Uh, yeah. Legs count, so you can go through his legs. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I'm going to keep that hacking. Hold on, sorry. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah, no, you I got forgot. One. It's, yep. it's over here, I say. And I swing it again, and I crit. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out in the wash, people. Yeah. Yeah. Comes out in the wash. Having... Don't forget, you get the extra yeah. D4. Oh, nice. That's going to be 5 plus 4 plus... Two. And you have three dice on the... Yes, so hold on. Uh, <laughs> 11 plus uh, 7 is 18. Plus, I get to reroll that because I'm using it as a versatile. Oh, okay. Well, 18 plus 2 is 20. 20. <laughs> on, uh, on the boss guy? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you, you like stab the staff where his head was, and then you're like... Boom! And just just move it to the side and smack him up at the side of the head. Um, instantly, a bruise starts to come to on his head, and uh, he looks very very bad. Cool. Yeah. Neat. I'm gonna shoot him. Boom! 
The shot rings out. Eleven. Eleven. Oh man, you picking you miss. <laughs> Reload. And I'm back the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> whoop whoop whoop. Ten. I'm gonna cast guiding bolt on the boss ship. Okay. And that is a 15 to hit. Yep. 21 damage. How do you kill him? Um, What's the so cool damage? A huge <laughs> bolt of light just appears from nowhere and slams down on him. Okay. And his skin just starts burning off and just lights him on fire. He's... <laughs> the, the other orcs... <laughs> Uh, the one next to him, like, shuffles back uh, on his hands, and he, he quickly stands up, and he bolts it out the door. Uh, he double moves. He gets to about here. Um, and then all of the other orcs uh, by the... He passes me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I take so, my reaction to stab him. Yeah, one me. second, one second. All right, so uh, let's it. start with Eifer. Eifer, you have a attack of opportunity. Do you want to take it? Uh... Yeah, I'm going to take my dagger. Yep. <laughs> having never used a dagger sure, sure. for something other than, like, normal kitchen utensil. I'm pretty sure you stabbed someone already. I don't think I've stabbed somebody. Right. I've used my swing. All right. Oh, that's right. I have not stabbed somebody. And I'm just going to, like, not knowing what I should do, just, like, poke. Okay. <laughs> Very Don-like. <laughs> poke, poke. <laughs> and that's going to be a 13 to hit? Yep, that hits him. Okay. That will be three damage. Three damage. All right. Uh, next is Tin. You have you have a reaction. Okay. I'm gonna use my short sword that I have around here. Yeah. One, two. I can use the plus one long sword. Oh yeah, I did get that. Yep. Okay. I don't know what the damage okay. on it is, so I'll just use. You haven't inspected it well enough. No, I haven't. Uh-huh. Been too busy. Looks like you're a dex fighter anyway. 12 hit. A 12 does not. Narrowly misses. Kyo comes yeah. by you. And since I have pack tactics, and as he's coming by me, he would be adjacent. Yeah. To him. <laughs> yep. Do you have reach, by the way, Chan? Uh, no, not okay. this one. Okay. And so then I. Ooh. 9 plus 5. I narrowly miss as well. 14. No, no you hit. No, oh, sorry. I'm, I can't add. <laughs> it's okay. I, I deal... Um, it's only a critical part of the game. <laughs> Just kidding. No, this is this is important because that got my own dagger up. That was the important part. Yeah. So, two, I have two plus three, five damage. Five damage. All right. Manette? Uh, if I'm allowed to pull out my dagger as I see him running yeah. towards me, yeah. oh, I will make yeah. an attack at him. At 21. Yeah, you hit him. There you go, AJ. Showing once again where I'm playing fast and loose with the rules. <laughs> Six damage. Because <laughs> I just assumed I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was totally out the 26 whole time. damage? Is that what you Six damage. Six damage? Okay. Uh, he he skids to halt dead. Uh, he doesn't make it through the gauntlet. Yep. Uh, the rest of the group... Moves forward. Um, uh, they move forward sixty feet, and they're they're trying to run out the door as well. <laughs> yep, they are. They're completely Gosh. routed. They're they're out of initiative at this point. They're they're running for their lives. Why would um, I kill them all? Next is Bon. I'm gonna take an attack Cape, opportunity yeah. on the yep. last one. Okay. By. I'm just gonna. Stick uh, stick my quarter staff out and smack Try it in the shin. Yeah. <laughs> Take me. that. Nice. For a thirteen hits. For seven damage. Alrighty. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of scared by the fact that there's there's a whole bunch of orcs rushing me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you might pee yourself. <laughs> Uh, Cower for my real Bond. turn. Yeah, I'm gonna go behind the pillar and uh, behind the ogre. Yep. Going to hit him at 
Is that a 12? A 12. Uh, that hits. Well, cool. For 6 damage. 6 damage. Nope. I do a front flip. <laughs> Alright, you are prone. It <laughs> is. Did you use for the 6 damage, do you get plus the d4? Or whatever? Uh, what? no. Does that happen? He, he's not enlarged. So oh, oh, that's right. That's right. Sorry. Going. It is Keo's turn. Yeah, it's Keo's turn. Yeah, yeah it is Keo's turn. Yeah. Mm. So... I'm going to try and get the one I think I can kill. Um, the red cape guy who was in the fire. Yeah. First, I... So I draw out my sling. Mm -hmm. And I whack a sling stone at him. I don't know how that would play with the other one there in front of him. But. The one in the fire is probably actually not that far. Because he only yeah. had to stand up yeah. and get out of the okay. fire. Yeah. Then if he's, yeah, he's way back there, there, never mind. I will attack the ghoul looking one. Okay. Like earlier. Yep. And um, first the sling stone. Uh, 13 plus 5 would hit Hits. for a whopping 4 damage. Okay. Followed by my dagger that's still in my other hand. Mm -hmm. I toss that as a bonus action. And okay. that one will hit 2, and that's just 2 straight piercing. Okay. And hopefully that'll. Yeah. It is a first turn. And now I no longer have a weapon, so okay. I use my reaction. <clears throat> I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers again on the okay. ogre. Okay. Why aren't you dead yet? And I let out just this, like, <laughs> really high pitch girly scream. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a uh, wisdom saving throw, I believe. That's right. He makes it. Okay, so he takes... 18. 7 points of damage. 7 points of damage. He's dead. Well done. <laughs> that high-pitched scream rings in his ears and some, some blood trickles from his nose. <laughs> Dies. Alright. This, this horde of orcs is just piling through trying to get out. It is... Chanton's turn. Do you choose to let them run by? Um, did that ogre just die? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I mean, yeah, I guess I, I let him go. I have okay. no reason to stop him. Sure. The, the raiding party has been attacking people. Uh, he doesn't see that as wrong, though. Yeah, no, it's just orcish. It's, it's just it's a thing just, that happens. It's a cultural difference. Yeah. Next is Manette. Well, I think they broke a window over there. <laughs> what? <laughs> this cave had windows. <laughs> I'm gonna step into the corner and uh, I'll hold my action like with my thunder cannon out yeah. for anybody to, to even look like they're gonna come directly at me. Okay. Because they've got they've got a line that they can. Yep. If they want to run, they can run. <laughs> okay. But if they come at me, they're getting shot at. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, sounds good. So when they come within five feet... Ooh, okay. Sounds good. Ten. Scorching Ray. Um, I'm going to do a ghoul first. Thank goodness. No mercy. That's right. Okay. Um, well, they're Hardcore bad guys. Killer. You know, no, around the yeah, darkness. Not bad guys. Uh, so Just that's works. a 23 to hit. Mm-hmm. And nine damage. Uh, ghoul's dead. Okay. Then I'm going to do sword guy in front of me. I was worried I was going to lose my knife. And <laughs> I just totally miss. And so I'm going to try shield person to yep. behind. And 19 to hit. Yep. Six damage. Okay. And then... Move back. Does the one directly in front of her take its attack of opportunity? <clears throat> yeah. That's fine. Oh, wait, no. No, they're just running. Mm -hmm. they, they double move, so 60 yeah. as far as they can go. Okay, so he's going to pass yep. that. They're going to pass by Keo and then hmm. Manet for attack. Okay, so Eifert, you choose to take your attack. Seeing Chanton not really attack him, I'm like. 
well, what's the point? Yep. So I'm just gonna not. He continues forward. Yeah, the rest of his thirty run. feet. <laughs> and then that grouping runs to the mouth of the cave. Uh, you get your chance for attack of opportunity, so do you. I will take my swing at the one in the cape as he's okay. going. And I'm going to attempt to make it look like I'm doing more than I am. Okay. Because I'm actually going to heal him at two points. Because it's a one for an unarmed attack. Uh-huh. Is one damage. Okay. But, but you're I have negative heal two for... to strength, so I'll yeah. do one, negative one damage if I hit. <laughs> but I'm trying to make it look cool. So I swing really well. I'm like, bap! Yep. And you... I'm like, yeah, now get out of here. <laughs> but I don't do any damage to yeah. him. Because yeah. it's not minimum one? Yeah. yeah. Or is there a minimum one? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's minimum one. one. Okay, I yeah. didn't know. Yeah, you, you don't know, go backwards. If, you, if your negatives can make it no. go zero. You can't punch somebody so hard they gain health. <laughs> well, I'm not <laughs> saying they gain not health. Not Mr. Miyagi. I'm just, <laughs> I, I'm just thinking, you, you know. Just do nothing. I, yeah. You know, if I'm like, eh, okay. right. It's like right. a light massage. All right. just can't hit hard. So Ten. So the red cape takes one. Um, Didn't you hold your action? If they moved within five feet of me. Guy yeah. in front. They are still so he's feet the first away. one. Um, Do you want to continue doing that? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay. No, no, no. Did you want, did you want your reaction for attack of opportunity? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm going to stab him. Which one? The, I think the, the, the first guy. Yeah, sir guy. Okay. He's undamaged, I think. Sword guy's undamaged. Oh. If you're trying to kill Yeah, well then I'm going to wait for the shield person. Mm-hmm. He can run away. Shield person. They've all been damaged. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter, though. That guy looks um, rougher. Does an 11 hit? No. No, okay. Uh, okay. Chanton. Yeah. Holding uh, your action? Use my thaumaturgy to say, this is Chanton's cave now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, they're like, oh, ah! and, uh, Manette, same thing. Okay, Tin, you can take your attack if you'd like. I don't know why everyone else is just chilling around. Um, they've seen the error of their ways. Mm. Yeah, well, they're probably going to go out and kill more people. If we well, don't we need to capture one, though? To target? Six seconds. Um... I don't have anything to really, like, slow down slash paralyze. You can grapple one of them. Yeah. Or or try to blunt, hit him with with the blunt side of your weapon. Mm -hmm. So you do the same damage, but you just don't kill him. I'm going to try to do that to shield person. Okay. Or do the blunt side. Yep. Fly the blade. And that would be a 13. 13 hits. Oh, okay. Yep. And then I roll for damage. Yep. Seven. Seven. All right. Okay, he falls unconscious. Cool. All right. Uh, they just keep running. You get your attack of opportunity if you like on the cape. I'm going to do that. Okay. With my sword. I would have liked to do a shock and grab Oh, oh well, you yeah, can do go that first. You yeah. first. I don't know. Are they, were they after, directly after her? Or which enemies are which? Yeah. Yep. So, um, so they're directly after her. I don't know. I can't do that as an attack of opportunity, can I? I don't think no, so. Unless it's, it's a reaction spell. Yeah. No. So. no. Okay. Go ahead. I'll, I'll punch him though and try yeah. to take him down. And I miss. Okay. Or wait, I, that doesn't even that doesn't matter. Still miss. Okay. Yeah, still miss. I'm so used to weapon attacks. All right, so keep guy. I miss. Alrighty. All right, that is it. Well done. Wait, I can shoot fireball. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. They got out the cave. It's my turn. They're get, is... each getting the magic missile to the back. That is it. Alrighty. So, well done, guys. And now we have one that we can make prisoner. Would you like to move, go back to town now? Uh, we would like to search the cave. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, so you search the cave. Uh, Mule, are you ready? For um, clues. Uh, while I get to the page, yeah. I am going to be tying up the one orc with rope. Okay. And now I'm ready. All right. <clears throat> so uh, they've plundered a 
uh, several homesteads uh, farther north uh, on their way down to Wy- Wyvern Tor. Um, there's an unlocked treasure chest, and it has uh, 750 copper, 180 silver pieces, 62 electrum, 30 gold pieces, and three vials of perfume, which are about 10 gold pieces each. Good orcish perfume. Mm. There's a perfume or cologne. Perfume. Wouldn't orcish right. perfume just be blood? It, it could be. <laughs> or B.O. Hey, I smell the orcish perfume. Um, it smells pretty. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't smell that great. It's, it's a little, little flowery yeah. for orcish tastes. Um, to be fair, I did worship uh, Corell and the elf god for a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, this reminds me yeah. of the temple. Um, okay, so... Ooh, can we spend the night here and I can sleep on that chest of... Yeah. and silvers. I think it'd be nice. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, so you guys take a long rest and that's where we'll leave it. We'll leave you guys sleeping here. Thank you for listening. Let us know what you think in the comments and please subscribe. For more on Roll with Advantage, check out dmstable.com. The music you heard on this podcast is brought to you by the fine people at Incompetech.com. We hope you enjoyed Roll with Advantage.